I climbed two doors, the generator made a loud noise and went off. And then he couldn't pull after he made a loud noise. Eventually, he pulled it and it refused to come on. Then we trying to check the gen to troubleshoot and see what was wrong with the gen. We discovered it is just the OSC. And then we fixed the OSC and the gen came on. We started the generator and what have you. So we tried to run the generator for let's say 30 minutes and see how it's going to work before we tell our client we are done with his with his generator. But as we connected the output, we connected this to our socket, it just didn't bring out voltage. Why that is, I don't know. Our client didn't tell us the generator was not producing voltage, but since the generator is here already, we have to fix it. So this video is basically a follow-up video to that one. Um so what do we do next we try to troubleshoot as well and see what could be wrong and the first thing i will do here is to basically test the generator for continuity first of all i want to see all right okay i just took that to the continuity symbol so i want to see what if the generator is continuous you get or if there's a leakage anywhere i think okay you can hear the sound it shows it's continuous what could be the issue then if it's continuous uh what do we do next we will simply or oh, one more thing let me also test with my test lamp to see if perhaps it's my um it's my it's my socket that has issues my household socket that has issues or perhaps it's still the generator because you can't be quite sure with these things you know so i'll kickstart the generator down to see okay turn out it's from the generator and not my house so what i could really do now is to lose the generator and see for myself my next lookout should be on the capacitor now to see if the capacitor is in perfect condition okay still try to scan at the wires to see what the issue could be okay now this let me see let me see this capacitor oh capacitor looks like it is maybe bad i don't know let's see let's see I think the capacitor could be the issue right now but let me just quickly test for continuity also in the um, exciter winding let's see okay the exciter winding is continuous the um, output is continuous to the frame of the body to the frame of the body it doesn't read the meter doesn't read this is the meter here to the frame of the body it doesn't read the field windings to the exata windings doesn't read but every other thing looks in place more like it's the capacitor now i would have also tested the capacitor to see if the capacitor is okay with this multimeter but as it stands now i really can't see the details on the capacitor so only with the details of the capacitor would i be able to test the capacitor and tell if the capacitor is in proper shape or not so what i have to do now is to just get another capacitor and insert it and see if it's going to bring out voltage so let me quickly get one capacitor so i came out with two capacitor these are old capacitor but i believe one of them should be okay I really don't know the rating of this capacitor, but it should not be more than probably 35 microfarad or thereabouts. Though for this particular generator, it's advisable to use a 25 microfarad. 
So now I can't get access to it. So I will quickly just do this, then see if it's a capacitor, and then later on I will go get um I will go get the required capacitority for this generator. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I'll connect this to the test lamp and just kick start. Now test tank here. So let me kick start and see if it's if it's uh, this capacity. <laughs> guys <laughs> did you see that so the capacitor is actually the fault of this generator well i wasn't told by my client <laughs> i don't know probably it was not in the know i don't know but most of the things he told me about the generator are just so different from what i'm seeing now trying to fix it up was it a mistake or i don't know i don't know but basically you see we've been able to fix this generator and we'll be able to um revive it like the generator doesn't produce voltage and we'll be able to make it produce voltage now by changing this capacitor and basically testing out the field windings and the exciter windings to see if they are still very okay before changing the capacitor so that's it for us guys we have been able to put this uh, generator into a perfect working generator now so this time around i'm going to put on the generator for the next 30 minutes and run it i hope no fault comes in this time around so you don't have to see this video again <laughs> all right guys we see that next class um, and if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe to this channel and um, turn on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them okay if you want to be part of our membership community you know what to do you just click on the join button and voila choose any of the plans and you are in you have access to all the perks attached to any plans to meet in our next slide guys it's goodbye from us